Hi, I'm Nick Lachey, and I want to shave you. You guys, I don't, you're welcome. I'm Jim Free. I need all you dozens of viewers out there just tell me how you like this, all right? Hey kids, do you guys feel like comedy is so interesting? It's just kind of a weird thing. It means so many different things to so many different people when you make fun of stuff. Oftentimes comedy can come across as negative or mean, you know, which is such a bummer really, because if you take the phrase making fun and break it down, you're taking something and making it fun. So recently I made a TikTok video where I was making fun of this performance um, by Jessica Simpson and Jewel. And when I looked at the comments, the first thing that completely caught me off guard were the amount of people saying that Jessica Simpson couldn't sing. Are you guys serious? Jessica Simpson, I've said this before, Jessica Simpson is an incredible vocalist. Jessica Simpson is an amazingly talented singer. And I didn't think she was a bad actress either. This movie sucks, but it wasn't her fault. I vividly remember being 16 years old and just struggling with all my might to try to sing that one part of I Wanna Love You Forever. <laughs> Yeah, I challenge you to sing that part, belt it. I was shocked by this because I was really just kind of making fun, making fun of the sort of animated way she performed that song. Religion, it was pretty wacky and hilarious, but it tripped me up that people think she's a bad singer. But the other thing that caught my attention was this little voice I heard in the background. The Nick and Jessica Variety Hour will be right back. And I kept replaying that in my head and I was like, wait, they had a, what? That duet with Jewel was part of a variety show? Nick and Jessica had a variety show? And the best part about hosting your own variety show. Looked it up and they did. They had a variety show. <laughs> No earthly idea how we all missed this. Never in my life heard anyone talk about it. There's not even a Wikipedia page for it. So I couldn't even find out how many episodes there were of it. So I guess there's only one episode. I don't know what happened. I don't know why it didn't work out because honestly, I took a peek. And in addition to the Jewel performance, I thought it was a <laughs> pretty entertaining variety show. It's a knick-knack, Paddywhack. Give the dog alone. <laughs> Sure, there was wacky parts, like when Nick Lachey sang a duet with a car. Sure, there were cringe parts. <laughs> sure, there was like 14 references to Jessica Simpson pole vaulting. Sat on me pole vaulting. Pole vaulting. Pole vaulting, pole vaulting, pole vaulting. Pole vaulting. But still, overall, I think it's pretty lit, and I feel like we need to talk about it today because it never really got to have its day in the sun. Anyway, I thought it'd be really fun to member this together. I don't have my member that sign, but welcome back to another episode of Member That. I wanna sit back and watch this together with you guys. But first, I'm super hungry, and I need a delicious meal from today's sponsor. Don't skip the sponsor. You at least have to hear some of it because I haven't been this excited about a sponsor in a really long time. Okay. See you soon. Oh my gosh. I am so excited to talk about today's sponsor. You have no idea. So not many of you will know this unless you follow me on Instagram, but I have been raving about this company called Factor for I think about a year now. In fact, hold on one second. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah, girl, fitness starts with food. So Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals a million percent easier by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals to your doorstep. I don't even know, I heard about them on TikTok. I kept seeing their ads and I was like, that looks really good and really convenient and right up my alley. I finally caved, got it about a year ago and have never looked back. So they have a team of gourmet chefs that create each meal using only ingredients with integrity. You can literally pronounce every ingredient on here to just help you feel your best, not have to worry about what you're gonna cook, and not have to worry about miserable cleanup and meal prep. So I didn't know this at all when I first signed up with them, but Factor is actually owned by HelloFresh, and I, <laughs> I love HelloFresh too, so it's obviously a match made in heaven. I cannot tell you how much time and stress Factor has saved me. They have a bunch of different options on their site, like when you're picking out your meals and stuff, and I always go for the keto ones, and they can like pre-select the meals for you, or you can choose, but I always obviously like to choose because I'm obsessed with the Indian butter chicken, turkey chili, the sun-dried tomato chicken, the keto Monterey chicken. I literally have them all memorized because Nick and I are obsessed 
they're that good. But like I said, they have a keto option, but they also have vegan and veggie, calorie smart, protein plus, etc. New options on the menu every week, and literally all of them are good. Every single day, I pull one out of my fridge, I walk to work, I put it in the work fridge, and when lunchtime comes, I don't gotta go nowhere. I just pop my factor, you like perforate a couple holes in the top, stick in the microwave for two minutes, let it sit for a second. Voila, gourmet, delicious, nutritious, no cleanup. So if you are interested in trying Factor, you can head to factor75.com or you can just click the link in my description box and use code Jamie50 at checkout for 50% off your first box. I'm so excited for you guys to have this. I feel like I said that in a vlog a few months ago. I was like, you deserve it. Again, you guys, that's factor75.com and use code Jamie50 at checkout for 50% off your first box. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how much I love not having to make cauliflower rice. Thank you. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring a portion of today's video. And now back to the show. Hey kids, we're back. All right, so first thing to talk about about this variety show that they did was the amount of celebrity cameos. First of all, obviously, Jewel. We already knew that she was there because of... There was also Kenny Rogers, Mr. T, uh, Babyface, The Muppets. Or Nick and Jessica doing the variety show. What, what is going on? And there's a lot of performances and it really struck me because all of these performances clearly took so much time and energy to rehearse. Like we got Jessica and Nick Lachey doing synchronized dances together. You know what, I keep trying to figure out what it is about this uh, little show that I think is so cute. And I feel like it's because they were a cute couple. I know, I know, I hate to say it because they're both like married to other people now, but they were just fun together, you know? Remember Newlyweds? Is this chicken what I have or is this fish? <laughs> so stupid. That was a wild show too. Hold up, was that the pole vault that they kept referring to? <laughs> of all the talents that you didn't know Jessica Simpson had, one of them was turning into a 200 pound man. <gasps> also turning into Dolly Parton. Islands in the stream, that is what we are. Also acting, okay, so we've seen Jessica Simpson act in Blonde Ambition. Not her best work, but she's a doll nonetheless. But in this variety show, they pre-filmed a bunch of skits. I'm a little nervous because I feel like this could go very south very quickly and be pretty cringe, but I also have hope. Jet Chandler, P.I. Knock at the door. Real civilized. Come in. I sat there as he frisked me with his eyes. I what? could tell Jesus, right away. what are you doing? <laughs> what do you mean? You know the part where you're supposed to talk inside your head? I'm talking outside my head? Yeah, now come on, concentrate. This is easy. It's easy to think something inside your head and project it for everyone to hear. See? It's so easy. Sorry, can I try it again? Okay. I stood there as he frisked me with his eyes like a turkey bird. <laughs> Just... <laughs> that was funny. You gotta hand it to him. I gotta drop the keys off at the pool. So now we have the infamous Who Will Save Your Soul performance that Jessica does with Jewel. And yeah, I made fun of it, okay? Because... <sighs> Because. Don't pay your bills, no more addictions to eat <laughs> It's so weird because you can clearly hear that she has pipes. You know, she's hitting all the notes and she's got great resonance and tone. She just has a wacky way of performing. But honestly, I have so much respect for anybody who can perform live. I really do. Like, I cannot do it as bad as I want to. Happy to sing uh, behind a camera in a room where no one else is, but performing live when you don't really know like how your voice might sound that day or if the person performing with you is gonna mess up you gotta think about how your face looks you gotta think about controlling your breath you gotta think about all the people in the audience you gotta wonder if maybe you're gonna become a meme 15 years in the future and some random internet person named jamie french is gonna like make fun of you hey, you're the I can't do it. So, mad respect for the weird way you said, there are addictions to feed and there are miles to pay. So because Jessica got to sing with um, what 
Nick refers to as one of her idols. He says he wants to sing with his, with one of his idols. And one of his idols turns out to be a car. Would you be interested in singing something with me tonight? I would love to. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty of it all. To make those rainbows in my mind. This part was a little, like, a little weird. <laughs> but again, comedy, man. It's a... It's just, it's just subjective, you know? Comedy is in the eye of the beholder. You know, I find things hilarious that other people don't find hilarious, like Miley Cyrus's cruise ship skit on SNL. You people are gross to me. Can't you stop saying that we're gross? We're on vacation. I laugh so hard at that, and me and my sister still sing that song 10 years later. Other people watch it. They feel nothing. I cried laughing at the try not to laugh challenge I filmed for Facebook a couple weeks ago about a cat named Home Depot. Mr. Ugly Lotion. <laughs> Home Depot. No one thought it was funny. So to each their own, um, this skit was a little weird to me. You and I. Nick, why are you singing with a car? If anybody understands that part, you're welcome to explain stuff goes over my head as we all know okay so this is supposed to be like a clever little uh sketch jessica's sort of getting revenge on the mickey mouse club i guess because they rejected her all those years ago i didn't even know that why would you reject jessica simpson the world may never know but anyway so she hires all these little kids to come on stage and play or impersonate like britney christina justin timberlake uh taylor lautner why is he there <laughs> i wonder if this was his first gig i feel like this one's gonna be weird i'm scared to watch it Wrong, beautiful. I thought words can bring you down. Well, well, I gotta get all up in little Tina's grill. We're just a bunch of nine year olds, yo. See, it may not be Oscar winning level comedy, but I think it's cute that she made fun of herself. I also think it's cute that Taylor Lautner was there. It does feel a little out of place for a variety show. I don't know. I've never created a variety show, so I guess maybe you're supposed to have variety. I would have preferred another pre-filmed skit sketch thing where maybe she like recreated her audition or something. That would have been legit. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. This is 800 years old. Why am I even thinking about what should have happened? <laughs> all right, we got another Nick Lachey saloon skit. I can't wait to sample clips of all this stuff in my upcoming videos because there's so much material. My mouth is drier than a cotton ball salesman in a dust storm. Yeah, so it appears Jessica is playing a bartender that often also has, he, she can read people's minds. She's got the ESP! And she cracks him over the head with a glass bottle every time he has like a scandalous thought about her. Well, I know what you were thinking, cowboy, and I will have none of that in my bar. Well, I beg your pardon, man. I was just taken aback by those incredible... When did you find out you could read minds? When I was 18. 18, huh? At a slumber party. Slumber party? Or playing spin the bottle. Spin the bottle! <laughs> okay, that part didn't exactly age well, but what are you gonna do? He didn't write it, I'm sure. Oh, I done got whiskey all over my shirt. Oh. Imagine that clip we just watched without any context. The memes we could create just with that little scene. <laughs> <laughs> what an odd thing we're watching together. Next up is 10 Seconds of Awkwardness with Mr. T. funny i am 100 percent going to add that to like any of my future videos that need to be 10 seconds longer okay i saw this clip earlier uh jessica simpson impersonates george bush and i was like oh no this is gonna be cringe like i'm not gonna laugh there's no way and i laughed it was good it was a good impersonation this is president bush i am the president of the country and i will get the evildoers <laughs> Why is 
<laughs> Why is this so funny? Am I just like in a better mood than usual? You guys aren't used to this, are you? You don't know what's happening. You didn't know that I sometimes smile and I don't always have RBF. Speaking of RBF, Miss Piggy and Kermit made an appearance on this show. Did you guys have oh, the stage booked for today? Well, I think so. Papa! Come here, come on. Easy, easy. We got a problem. Here. We'll figure this out. Okay, okay, everyone. Don't worry. No worries here. Everything is fine. We're all set. And you two, get off of the stage. Come on, let's move. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, come on. This is very cute. Okay. That one little Muppet, I don't remember his name. He kind of sounds like Antonio Banderas, and he's so cute. I miss this type of TV where like humans would interact with puppets, man. <gasps> How could I bring that back? Del Razor got you down? Sick and tired of the same old bad shave? Sounds like you're ready for a Nicola shave. Nicola shave isn't a razor. Nicola shave is actually Nicola Shea coming to your house to shave you. I'm actually angry that I didn't think of it myself. Nicola Shea was a member of 98 Degrees, one of the most popular boy bands of the 90s. And now, he'll shave your face. Hi, I'm Nicola Shea, and I want to shave you. You guys, I don't... You're welcome. That's all I have to say. You did not know that that Nick Shave commercial existed. Now you do, and you can think about it for the rest of your life because it's genius. Also available, the Nick Shave for women. So three musical performances ended out the variety show. Nick performed a song with Babyface. Honestly, very good. I have no critiques. Shocking, I know. <laughs> I actually forgot how good of a vocalist Nick Lachey is because he became known like for so many other things. Like he became a perpetual host. He hosts a lot. Okay. But before he was a perpetual host, he was a singer of 98 Degrees and like an actual good singer that could sing live and stuff. It's interesting too, the sound of his vocals sound kind of boy bandy. Somehow I know I'll be strong. You can tell like his training or his like vocal upbringing was, you know, he was in a boy band, but he's a good performer. And so was Babyface, of course. I mean, that shouldn't surprise anybody, but it was good. Jessica Simpson does a solo performance of Take My Breath Away, also very good. Take my breath away. Oh. Pretty animated, a little wacky with her facial expressions but still good. Don't argue with me. And they end with an adorable duet of I Got You Babe, also animated, still good. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I can't applause, so I gotta hit myself. Uh, we missed out. Us 25 to 35 year olds that were into Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey back in the day, we missed out on a work of art. I know I probably seem like I'm being sarcastic because <laughs> usually I am, but I really thought this was good. In fact, I think I'm gonna buy the DVD <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> well friends, that was fun. That was a fun episode of Member That. I enjoy membering things that we actually don't member. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, be sure to check out my new series called The Brew. We're having a lot of fun with it. The feedback is very good. And I know some of you may not like change. I don't like change either, but give it a shot. You never know, maybe you could laugh. And if it's one of those days where you don't feel like laughing, you know, cause you're like in that place where you're like, I don't know that that would make me laugh, which would make me feel better, but I don't want to feel better. That's me 24 seven. Um, just like do it anyway, cause I think you'll like it. I love you friends and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace out. <gasps> you can buy the DVD on Amazon? I should have done that instead of a stupid 480p YouTube video I had to rip. But like, I have so much respect for anybody who can sing live. I really do. <gasps> I'm upset. I'm upset.